what happens to your body after dry needling, and I'm gonna try to answer this in under a minute. When we needle, we insert a solid monofilament needle into the muscle, right? I'm creating a micro lesion, a really, really teeny tiny thin small diameter hole. Your immune system has to react to that hole to fix the problem, right? I created a cut, your body's gotta fix it. So we're gonna get a blood flow response. That feels fantastic, right? The initial kind of release that happens with needling feels great. There's then gonna be an inflammatory rush that happens to fix that little hole. And the goal is that when I get that inflammatory response, if I'm in the area where you're already having pain, it should help clear out some of that, that chronic inflammation that may still be there. When we get injured, there's an initial pro-inflammatory response that should follow with an anti-inflammatory cascade, a regenerative cascade afterwards. The goal of the needling is to try to help you transition from pro to anti, right? And kind of restart that process, if you will. With that, sometimes you get a little muscle soreness. It literally feels like you just worked out. Three to four days later, you really know what you got.